All right, in fact, turn that stuff around. Good afternoon and welcome to the Appalachian Wireless Arena, uh, the site of the Boys and Girls 15th Regional Basketball Tournament. At this time, I'd like for Mr. Josh Kessler, the marketing manager from Appalachian Wireless Arena, to say a few words. Hello everyone, good afternoon, good to see you here. Welcome on behalf of the City of Pikeville and the Appalachian Wilds Arena. It's good to have the 15th Region Tournament back. We're excited to have it. Of course, we've got some fun, interesting things behind the curtain, but everything will be ready to go for the tournament. It's always something fun and exciting. Um, the only, everything's pretty much the same, guys. The only thing that's different is your student sections will be behind each basket. That's the only thing. There'll be chairs on the floor behind each basket, and that will be your student section. That helps with having to worry about people falling. That helps worry about extra security. That gives them room to, to enjoy the game and helps us out overall, too. But it just it's just a better better scenario, and I think Kevin agrees with it as well. So, But other than that, everything's the same. Let's have an awesome 15-region uh, tournament, and anything, just yell at us. Thank you, Josh. Um, next to speak is Mr. Brett Keene, the president of the Eastern Kentucky Market for Community Trust Bank, who is our title sponsor. Thanks, Kevin. 
Um, as the primary sponsor bank of the bank, we uh, of the term at the bank uh, is always glad to be part of this. I think uh, ever since it's been here at the Expo, we've been being here and uh, we enjoy being a part of it and being able to uh, help in part provide this opportunity to be able to, for you to play here in this arena. Um, I think it makes you a lot more prepared when you go to the big arena for the state tournament. So um, we're glad to be able to do that and be a part of it another year. Uh, good luck to everybody. Uh, I think we'll have a lot of a lot of parity this year. I think the tournament will be really good and uh, uh, we wish everybody luck. Thank you, Brady. We actually uh, agree with you all that we uh, like your continued support of the tournament as well. Uh, next to speak, Mr. Bennett West, who will be the official score for the tournament. As always, it's good to be here. Those of you that were here last year know that there's a big change in the way I'm appearing before you this year. Last year I was in a neck brace because of a major injury I had received in January. And I want to thank my two coaches, Coaches Hagee and Coach Deskins, for bearing with me this year. And letting, having me to do the things that I can do and encouraging me and being with me and for all you coaches that greeted me and so forth when I came to you, thanks, it meant a lot to me. As always, I would like for before each game, each coach to bring me a list of the 15 or fewer players that will be dressing for your team that night and please mark your starters. It makes it so much easier for me to get my book ready and for PD to get the scoreboard ready before the game starts if we know the starters and the numbers of the players that are dressing. And so, as always, when we get to this point in the season, you can dress no more than 15. And as I've told, and he's not here, I've told Tommy McKenzie so many times, there's 15 lines on that book for a reason. Thank you, and I look forward to working with you all in the next few days. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. West. All right, the 15th Region Boys and Girls Basketball Tournament presented by Community Trust Bank here at the Appalachian Wireless Arena. The dates will be February 27th through March the 6th. This year's tournament is being hosted by the 58th District and I will be your tournament manager. The 15th Region Policy Board, made up of principals and athletic directors, is responsible for the adoption of the Appalachian Wireless Arena as the venue for the tournament. This facility offers our region the seating capacity not available at any of our high schools and is a prelude to what our teams will experience in Lexington. Uh, as in the past, features of this year's regional tournament, revenue sharing, each 15th region school will share equally in the tournament revenue after expenses are deducted, provided they sponsor a Kentucky High School Athletic Association boys and girls sport in the fall, winter, and spring. Participating schools will receive $1 per mile round trip bus expense per game. Each school will receive $100 per night per game for food reimbursement. Both the girls and boys regional winning teams will receive $1,000 to pay for the cost of advancing to the state tournament. And once again, this year, Appalachian Wireless has told me that they will be providing $1,000 on top of what we provide. At this time, we'll do the roll call. Uh, the girls, 57th district winner, Martin County. And your record? 25 and 5. 57th runner up. Oh, Paintsville. 19 and 11. Paintsville, 19 and 11. 58th district winner.
Lawrence County, 27 and 5, 58 district runner up. Floyd County Central, 19 and 10. 59th district winner. Pikeville, 26 and 5. Pikeville, 26 and 5. 59th district runner up. Shelby Valley, 9 and 20. Shelby Valley, 9 and 20. 60th district winner. Pike Central. Fifteen and fourteen. Pike County Central, fifteen and fourteen, sixtieth district runner up. Belfry, uh, seventeen thirteen. Belfry, seventeen and thirteen. For the boys, fifty seventh district winner. Mark County. And your record. Martin County, 21 and 10, 57th runner up. Paintsville, 14 and 16. Paintsville, 14 68th district winner. Lawrence County, 18 and 14. Lawrence County, 18 and 14, 58th district runner up. Betsy Lane, 19 and 10, 59th district winner. Pikeville, uh, 20 and 7. Pikeville, 20 and 7, 59th district runner up. Shelby Valley, 18 and 9. Shelby Valley, 18 and 9, 60th district winner. Pike Central, 20 and 8. Pike County Central, 20 and 8, 60th District, runner-up. Belfry, 9 and 23. All right, dates and times, as I said earlier, the, the dates will be. Now, these sessions are messed up when this got typed up. Um, actually, session one will be the girls' quarterfinal game which will be Monday, February 27th at 6.30, and it's actually 8 o'clock. But I won't run through all those sessions, but we will start the girls on February 27th, which will be Monday at 6.30 and 8 o'clock. General information. Officiating crews have been set for the tournament and will be assigned out of the 16th region. After the draw today, I will send those to Mr. Joe Billman, who's the assigning secretary, and then I will have the assignments hopefully by tomorrow. If you want to text and ask, you are more than glad to, and that will probably be for the girls. He will have those first. Uh, the public address will be Vernon White, the official score Bennett West, the clock operator P.D. Hunt, and I have asked three people to do stats and um, can't get anybody. One is on active duty in the military, the other one has a commitment that um, he can't do it, and I asked a third and he said he doesn't have uh, computer stats, but if you have somebody that would like to do stats, let me know and I can hire them for the tournament at $30 a game. Uh, security, Appalachian Wireless Arena. The facility is under constant video surveillance and all inappropriate acts will result in action by proper authorities. Parking is on a first come, first serve. We have the parking garage, the river field, and also in town out here. There is no VIP parking. The emergency personnel will be Appalachian Wireless Arena and the Pikeville Fire Department. Janitorial services will be provided by Appalachian Wireless Arena. And this year we do have three people that have stepped forward to do live streaming, uh, Intermountain Cable, D&D &D Sports, and Mountaintop Media will be live streaming. And if anybody else wants to, please see me after today.
The official game ball will be Spalding, which is stipulated by the Kentucky High School Athletic Association. Each team, bring your own basketballs to warm up with, please. And I will say it again, please bring your own basketballs to warm up with. Admission, tickets may be purchased through Ticketmaster or at the Appalachian Wireless Arena ticket office. And as of right now, they have a little bit of uh, an issue going on. Ticketmaster was supposed to put in new equipment at the Main Street window down here. It's not been put in yet, so we may have a little bit longer lines out here at Huffman Avenue, which is across from Big Sandy. If schools want to purchase tickets in advance for their students, you may do so. If you want to call and tell them how many tickets you want, they'll have it ready. You bring a check, and they'll have your tickets ready for you. Um, they have also encouraged that people, if they want to purchase tickets in advance, to purchase them online through Ticketmaster. And all tickets sold will be general admission at $7 per ticket. All seats are chairbacks. Teams identified by their coach will be admitted through the group pass gate at the loading dock. I have sent all postseason rosters over here, so they will have it at the back door. The principal, the AD, the superintendent, your assistant coaches and your players can come through that door, okay? Any night that you play or you don't play. will be behind the benches. And as Josh, <coughs> excuse me, as Josh said earlier, the student section will be behind the goals. On the far end will be the home section for the students, and on this end, on the loading dock end, will be the visitors. Cheerleaders and dance teams in uniform identified by their sponsor will be admitted through the group pass gate on the night their team participates. Bands will be admitted through the group pass gate during the session with their team plays and will sit in designated areas. Uh, I think Josh has already spoken with the media, but if you will see him today, if you want to broadcast the games on radio, he has a sign-up sheet and he will have you a pass that will be good for the entire tournament. All other spectators or visitors must have a ticket and if you have not signed for your Board of Education's tickets yet. When we get finished downstairs below the elevator, the lady is sitting that somebody from your school will need to sign for your board's passes, and they have 12. The gate hours, the ticket office opens at 1030 or at 10 o'clock every day. The gates will open at 530, one hour before game time. Passes. Players participating in the tournament and designated on the roster may enter a, the pass gate at the loading dock during any session. All college and university coaches displaying proper identification will be admitted. High school coaching cards and Kentucky High School Athletic Association officiating, officiating cards are not accepted. The band playing time. The national anthem. The home team will be responsible for, to play the national anthem each evening except during the finals. And I will make sure that we have somebody both nights to do the national anthem. Bands will sit in the designated area on their team side of the gym. Cheerleaders will be permitted to lead the team out on the floor for pregame warm-up with flags. After that, they are to follow in-game rules set forth by the Kentucky High School Athletic Association pertaining to doing cheers on the floor. They are permitted to do cheers during full timeouts only. And if your dance team wants to dance, uh, either the AD or your dance coach can contact me to set up a time to perform at halftime. Warm-up time, each team will be allowed 20 minutes to warm up prior to the game. Teams will begin pregame warm-ups on the opposite end from their bench. The top team in each bracket will be the home team and will wear white uniforms. And I will state it again, the home team will wear white uniforms. Playing area. No more than 15 players are permitted in uniform for any one game. I already have sent the rosters over here and they will have those at the loading dock for when you come in. Uh, the dressing area downstairs where the four locker rooms are will have designation with signs on it on which 
locker room you will be in. The home teams will be in locker rooms three and four, the visitors in one and two. The home team will be able to go out toward their bench and the visitors will come out through the loading dock area. That way you will not cross each other. Coaches are to supervise dressing rooms before and after each game. And they are checked prior to the game and after each game. And if there is any vandalism, that way they know who has done it. All fans on the floor without proper seating will be asked to move to an available seat. And as I said once before, the cheerleaders will follow in-game rules for doing cheers on the playing area. Press passes we have already talked about. Uh, media should make the request to cover the games well in advance. During the tournament, the media may enter any gate if displaying the tournament media pass. Radio and TV stations covering the game will be limited to three individuals per media. Radio stations will be responsible if they want to have a phone line installed, but may use cell phones if desired. Cell reception is good inside the facility. And again, the tournament media pass will be available at the Appalachian Wireless Arena. Weather, so far it looks like nothing but rain, but we never know, we're in eastern Kentucky, what may happen. If inclement weather becomes a factor, I will notify all participating schools and media the decision concerning cancellation of the games at least four hours in advance before the first game. If foreseen situations arise that pose an imminent, unexpected danger to public safety, games may be canceled with little or no notice. Bus parking. All buses will be parked per instructions of the parking attendant at the loading dock area, which is just right down below us. Team cheerleading and band buses will be parked in the loading dock area where the team and bus driver will enter through the pass gate. Pet buses will unload in front of the Appalachian Wireless Arena and park in the loading dock or available area. And once again, we will not have a hospitality room, and I will come around with, to the media and pass out your media vouchers. Property damage. All schools will share in the cost of repairing damages due to spectacular are banned due to problems they have created at past tournaments, signs of any kind, throwing objects onto the playing floor, no confetti, no tunnels, no silly string, and no artificial noise makers. The following items are not permitted in the arena per the Appalachian Wireless Arena rules. Weapons of any type, animals except for service animals, umbrellas, strollers, backpacks, large bags, outside food or drink, cans or bottles, tobacco products, except in the designated area. Awards will be given for the following, winner and runner-up trophies to the boys and girls, winner and runner-up individual awards for team members, 25 per team, winner, up, winner and runner-up coaches award for boys and girls, all tournament team with 15 members plus an MVP, you will have one member of the quarter finalists will be voted upon at the conclusion of sessions one through four, two members of the semifinalist, three members for the finalist, four for the champion, and the MVP will come from the winning team. Yes, I'm getting ready to go over that. Uh, as in the past, we have done a 15-minute halftime. Are all the coaches still in agreement with that? If you are, please say yes. Okay. So we will have a 15-minute halftime. Gives you a little extra time to get back to your locker room. You're not in a rush. Uh, also, we will be doing media timeouts at the under four of every quarter since we are having live TV. So you will get four extra timeouts. Okay. So just want everybody to know, and I, will, and I will also notify the officials that we will be doing a 15-minute halftime and taking media timeouts. 
and I will record that in the official book with the time. Yes. Uh, it don't count against any team. I just put them at the top to notify, to let it be known that there were media timeouts. And it shouldn't be, it shouldn't. It doesn't count against any no, team. No, it doesn't count against any team, but like on a free throw, it would come after. Okay, if they won't freeze, they shouldn't freeze the shooter. All right, with the 58th being the host this year, we will draw in this order, be 59, 60, 57, and 58. And we will do the girls draw first. Pikeville draws number three. Pike Central, five. Martin County one. Lawrence County seven. Belfry four. <laughs> Floyd Central two.
Shelby Valley, six. And Paintsville, eight. All right, I'll run through the girls' bracket. On Monday, 227 at 630, will be Martin County and Floyd County Central. Second game at approximately 8 o'clock, Pikeville and Belfry. On Tuesday, 228 at 630, Pike County Central and Shelby Valley. And at approximately 8 o'clock on 228, Lawrence County and Paintsville. On Friday, 3-3 at 6.30 will be the two winners. On 3-3 at 8 o'clock, the bottom. And on Saturday at 4 o'clock will be the girls' finals. I'm sorry. Well, I didn't print them. All right, we'll do the boys' draw. 59. Pikeville, five. Pike County Central, seven. Martin County, three. Lawrence County, one. and 60, same bracket. <laughs> Shelby Valley, four. Belfry two. Paintsville, six. Betsy Lane, eight.
All right, the boys' tournament will begin Wednesday, March the 1st at 6.30 will be Lawrence County and Belfry at approximately 8 o'clock. Wednesday night, Martin County and Shelby Valley. On Thursday, March the 2nd, Pikeville and Paintsville at 6.30 at approximately 8 o'clock. Thursday night, Pike County Central and Betsy Lane. Semifinals will be on Saturday. March the 4th, approximately 6.30, but we will go right after the girls get finished with their award ceremony. And then at approximately 8 o'clock will be the second semifinal on Monday. March the 6th will be the boys' finals at 7. Thank you for coming today. If you have any questions or anything you need to talk about, please see me. Safe travels home. Don't forget to sign, up, sign in for your tickets downstairs. Thank you.